Hi. Today we're going to do two letters, the letter I and the letter J. The letter I is for our incredible Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. And when the angel came to Mary, he told her that that was the name and it means God with us. The second one is J and because Jesus is our Emmanuel, the scripture says in Acts 10 38, Jesus went about doing good. In Matthew 11, Jesus said in verse 4, Go and tell John, he's talking about John the Baptist, the things which you hear and see, the blind see and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. This is what we're going to talk about, about Jesus today. He's going about doing good and that he was Emmanuel, God with us. He came to show us a picture of God, of God's character. He told Philip, he said, Philip, if you've seen me, you've seen God. So let's uh, do a little activity here. I am going to show you an item, and I want you to see if you can tell me what you think the miracle is the good Jesus did in with um, this item, okay? We will start with this. It's a picture, right? Can you think of a miracle Jesus did that involved a pitcher? Not a picture, but a pitcher. He turned the water to wine, right? You can find that in John chapter 2, that he turned the water to wine. I'm sorry, yes. Let me double check that and make sure that's right. So I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. John chapter 2. That's what it said on that picture there, but let me make sure. Yes, that's correct. Okay. All right, the next one that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to get up and move around a little bit on these so that I can reach them without making you go dizzy. Okay, I'm going to show you this, and I'm going to show you this. Can you see what I have in my hand? Can you see it? I don't know if you're seeing it. There you go. What does that remind you of? What miracle of Jesus does that remind you of? If you said Jesus healing the blind man, you are right. Jesus healing the blind man, putting the mud on his eyes. Okay, the next one. I want you to look at this item over here. Do you see that? You see what that is? Somebody who uses a wheelchair might not be able to walk, right? Jesus healed many lame people, and one of them he healed was the paralyzed man. 
Remember his friends brought him, see the ropes hanging down, and Jesus healed him. Okay, good job. Um, the next one, I'm trying to see where my prop is. Oh, I don't have a prop for this because I couldn't um, go out and get, so I'll skip those two and I'll come back to them. Okay, let's go to this one next. Hmm. What do you take Tylenol for? If you have a fever, right? Well, Peter's mother-in-law, his wife's mother, had a fever. And Jesus healed her. And she got up and served them and gave them food to eat. Sorry for the glare. There we go. She gave them something to eat. All right. Next one. Band-Aids. You need Band-Aids when you get hurt, right? When you have a sore, a scratch, a scrape. Hmm. What do you think? What is this? Can you figure that out? This is the parable of, I mean, not parable, I'm sorry, the miracle Jesus did healing the 10 lepers. See, they're kind of raggedy and it doesn't really show that their skin's all yucky and stuff, but he healed them and the one came back and thanked him, right? Okay, now this one. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. And I'm going to show you this. What is that? I have a piece of bread and I have some tuna fish. So what do you think that one is? I bet you got that one already. Jesus feeding the 5,000 where the little boy shares his lunch. His five loaves and two fish. Okay. Hmm, what about this one? I don't have a picture to show you of this one because there wasn't any picture for me to get. But is there a parable where there was a person who wasn't in their right mind, who wouldn't have combed their hair, whoops, and they didn't, dress in clothes like we do. They ran around, this person ran around in caves and he um, was like a wild man. It was the demon possessed man and Jesus healed him and people came and saw that. He was in his right mind with clothes on and cleaned up and he was able to tell a whole area about Jesus and what Jesus had done for him. Okay, let's go to the two pictures. Here's just a couple other miracles that Jesus did. The picture of him walking on the water. And a picture of him calming the storm. And then, what about this? Now, we use this when we have a, like a, a sprain or um, a, 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 like a muscle that needs to be wrapped or something maybe. Back in those days, they used cloth to wrap a person who died for like mummies. Can you think of a miracle Jesus did that would have to do with that item? Raising Lazarus from the dead, right? And there's Mary and Martha. They're so thrilled and overjoyed that their brother was raised from the dead. And the last one I have to show you 
is this item, which is not a real one, but gives you the idea. What do you think that one might go with? Twice it happened, in fact. The miraculous catch of fish. See all the fish there in the net in the background? Remember Jesus was on the shore. This was after he died and was raised to life and resurrected. And the disciples had fished all night and he called to them from the shore and they didn't know it was him. And he said, throw your nets on the other side. And they did and they got so many fish. And then Peter realized it was Jesus and he dove in and swam to meet Jesus. And Jesus was there fixing them breakfast. Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus came so that we could know what God was like. Now I want to give you the scriptures for those so that you can read about all these miracles yourself. Okay? The miraculous catch of fish is in Luke 5, 4 through 9. The pitcher, the turning the water to wine, is in John chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Raising Lazarus from the dead, John chapter 11, verse 14 through 45. The making the blind man see, John 9, 1 through 7. The paralyzed man who couldn't walk, Luke 5, 17 through 26. Calming the sea, Luke 8, 22 through 25. Luke 8, 22 through 25. And Matthew 8, 23 through 27. Matthew 8, 23 through 27. I'm sorry, if I'm going too fast, just stop. Uh, and you can go back, put the video backwards if you missed one of these. Um, walking on the water, Mark chapter 6, 45 through 51. Mark 6, 45 through 51. The lepers healed, Luke 17, 11 through 16. Feeding the 5,000, Luke 9, 12 through 17. Peter's mother-in-law being healed of a fever, Matthew 8, 14 and 15. The blind man to see, Mark 8, 22 through 25. And the demon-possessed man is in Luke chapter 8, 26 through 35. I forget if I said this one to you. The, the miraculous catch of fish, Luke 5, 4 through 9. I think I did. I think I did start with that one. So isn't it awesome that God cared so much that he sent Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, so that we would know what God was like, and how God would act. And Jesus went about doing good. And we are his followers. So we are God's ambassadors, as Paul says in one of his letters, to show people what God is like, just like Jesus did. And we are to go about doing good also. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I know I can stand secure. Jesus, you're my firm foundation. I put my hope in your holy word. I put my hope in your holy word. I hope you will look up these verses and uh, spend some time talking about our incredible Emmanuel, Jesus. Have a great week.